to some frequently asked questions about California's administrative agencies. So first, what are the different entities within the executive branch of state government? It essentially has three levels, what we call statewide elected officers or plural executives, independent agencies, and line authority agencies. What are plural executives? These are the nine constitutional offices that are elected statewide by the voters every four years. What are independent agencies? These are the entities that, even though they may have appointees by the governor, for example, they serve independently from direct influence by the chief executive, such as the University of California Regents, which is set forth in the state constitution and whose regents serve 12-year terms. What are line agencies? These are the state agencies that report directly to the governor, whose appointees are subject to a direct line of authority from the governor's office and are appointed by the governor. In terms of the line agencies, what are the five types of entities in California state government? They are agency, department, board, bureau, and commission. What are agencies? The agencies are the highest level who are headed by an agency secretary appointed by the governor and who serve as members of the governor's cabinet. These agencies also have a second in command called the undersecretary, as well as deputy secretaries, all of whom are political appointees of the governor. What are departments? Under the agencies are numerous departments, all of whom are headed by a department director. And these directors are supported by a chief deputy director and usually several deputy directors, all of whom are political appointees by the governor. Are agency and department appointees subject to confirmation? Yes. Just like the agency appointees, department employee, uh, appointees are also political appointees by the governor and they're subject to confirmation by the state senate. What are boards and commissions? The boards and commissions are usually headed by an executive officer or a board, all of whom are political appointees by the governor. And these individuals usually report to a particular department and are usually subject to confirmation by the state Senate. Do state entities have the authority to adopt regulations? In most instances, these agencies, departments, boards and commissions and bureaus have rulemaking authority. In fact, there are well over 200 of them in the executive branch of state government. Do state entities have enforcement authority? Generally, yes. They have power over the individuals or entities that they regulate. It's a great diversified uh, portfolio from funeral directors to barbers and cosmetologists. These agencies also wield enormous influence in multiple ways, and they often play a significant role by interpreting and applying the laws of the state. And finally, what does this enforcement authority entail? By having enforcement power, these state entities can enforce the statutes and regulations governing the conduct of those entities or people that they regulate.